So I wanted to welcome everybody to our master class, eight to 12 year old master class today. And uh, we're coming to you all across the country for this wonderful lesson that we get to do this evening. Our fabulous expert teacher is Miss Vero and she's coming to us from Chicago, which is wonderful. I know that uh, many of you are watching from all over the country as Project Art students and we're so lucky and happy to have you here today. So thank you for joining us. Um, I wanted to let you know that uh, at any point we love to see your work. So if you are able to take a picture after class of the work that you've completed, you know that we would love to see that. So you can tag us on social media always, or you can email us uh, at info at projectart.org. Info at projectart.org. We're always on the other end of that. Happy to see your artwork and happy to post it up on Facebook and, and uh, all over the place to showcase and highlight your work as well. So thank you for joining us today. We have an extra special master class here for you because we have the wonderful Miss Vero from Chicago coming to us uh, to show us her talents and show us the technique that she has, um, she's really just a superstar at. So um, we're lucky because Miss Vero has so much experience as a professional artist in Chicago. She has done so much work as a multidisciplinary artist, which means that she tries all different kinds of art and loves to experiment and try installing things and all sorts of um, drawing and painting and, and sculpture and all kinds of things that she can get her hands on. Uh, she tries out and you know that's what we wanna encourage everybody here to do as well, to feel free to just do some experimenting and use your imagination today. Uh, so without further ado, I would like to turn this over to Ms. Vero so she can start our lesson. Hi, my name is Vero. Uh, yes, Joanna has said I'm a teaching artist. Today we are going to do a couple of projects of alternative trophies. Trophies are objects like little sculpture general plates that they uh, you win by a comp accomplishing something or being in a competition but uh generally it's for doing there's when they're giving away trophies only one person or two people get them so i think that why don't we do trophies or make trophies not just for competitions but just for things that we like or for people that we love say your parents or grandparents or best friends or um pets or for ourselves because we have been doing uh, a great job especially during these last two years and i know that all of you have been working very hard in school so we're gonna need paper pencils markers I have also these just to show this is from so those are the ones that you need if you don't have them you can make it you can roll a paper this is a trophy for a kitty that you can see here, called Nelson, who loves carrots. So this trophy was made by a friend of mine. I have borrowed it from, from her. And she made this little trophy for her kitty whom she loves very much. Uh, the artist called Peregrine, with papers, she like with markers, sorry, she drew a carrot with all the carrot leaves and the name of Nelson. And then she cut it and glued it. So yeah, start thinking um, who or for what would you make a trophy for? I'm gonna use one of those. So does uh, everybody know who or for what they want to make the trophy for? It can be for your pet, it can be for your best friend, it can be for spring, spring is around the corner. It can be for yourself because you did great in a test, or maybe you didn't do that great, but still you put the effort. So that's the important thing. So, you know, so let's start. I am going myself to make a trophy for the spring because I'm very excited for the spring. So 
first of all, I'm going to get a paper here and use the toilet roll so I can see a little bit how are the how much paper I need so I can save. I can even do like this. Yeah, that's gonna be better. Because with this, and I will save the other half. A trick. You can use scissors for this. I generally don't. I something that I learned when I was a kid, and I've been doing it all my life. But it's like so now I'm going to. Yeah, what if there the spring is coming? What should I add for the spring? What should I draw for the spring? We're gonna be doing this. And um, I will add colors. So we know where we're doing. I'm gonna. I will jump to the next part. So we get a little bit the idea of what we're doing. So we know, because I want to go a little bit. I'm gonna get here my scissors. I'm gonna find, no, those are good scissors. I'm going, I'll cut a little bit here. Then I can add the colors because I want to glue it. Okay, so I'm going to try. Um, I will actually use two of them. So, yeah. So what I will do, some tape. Also, if you don't have glue, but you have tape, you can tape it. I know that everybody has different times or pace, like for making art. Have a, two good friends. One of them, no, they're based both of them in New York. Okay, I'm going to glue this, as you see. You can use one or you can use two. One of them, mm -hmm. this very good friend that we studied together. Nusion, when we were studying together, he would be making, I don't know. It, it looked like if he was making an artwork a week and then this other good friend that also studied with us, Gabe, he would make one or two artworks a year. So everybody has their own way of working and it's good. If you like to take your time or you need to take your time, you take your time. If you go fast, you don't go fast. Totally good. So, as you see, while we're waiting, I am letting see reinforcing. You can see here. I use two of them. You can use one. That's this one, or you can use two. Totally fine. And while I have this, I'm 
I'm going to be drawing a little bit. So I'm letting this at the moment dry, but if you don't have a toilet roll, what you can do, let me show you here. I'm gonna move this right here. You can get one paper and roll the paper. And then you can either here, glue it or tape it and boom. You already have it. And if you want to make it, say, like thicker, you can make it thicker. So if you have a paper with you, you can use the paper and uh, a little bit of glue. I have some glue here. So what you can do, Here's another trick in case that you want to make a trophy and you don't have um, the toilet roll. You cannot make this. So what you can do, and you don't have to do this today if you don't fold, but for any other time you can do it. You fold a paper in half, like if it was a little book, and in the part that you fold, you make these tabs, these little flaps. And what you're gonna use this, and I'm gonna show you this now, is that you're gonna place them like this. So with this one, I don't know if you can see it from here, but that's a self-standing. So you can make your own drawing here. Meanwhile, I'm just like working on this. Thank you. If you can uh, take a picture of your trophy when you have finished and email it to infoprojectart.org or your local program director. I just wanted to say thank you all so much. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and this can be something that maybe you share uh, with your friends. Uh, maybe you teach them how to make trophies for not just doing uh, something extraordinary, but just getting a trophy for everyday life is pretty incredible too. And I know that many of you uh, could make for your family, your friends, pets, uh, the new season. So uh, wonderful work. Thank you so much, Ms. Vero, for showing us uh, the way here and uh, for all this creativity and imagination that we got to share together. Thank you, everyone.